So, now that I've put all of this lovely personal protective equipment on, I've gone and treated the patient, I'm ready to take it off. Just like in donning it, there is a particular sequence required when you doff it to minimize spewing germs all over the place as you remove things. So, what would you imagine would be the first thing to come off the dirtiest part, which would be the gloves. Again, think of what's dirty versus what's clean. The outside of my gloves are now conceivably filthy, whether they're visibly soiled or not. So I have to be very careful that as I'm taking them off, I'm not just going to snap them off and let those microbes fly through the air. I'm going to start from the cuffs, touching the outside where the dirty is, and unrolling it so that the relatively cleaner inside portion of the glove shows. Now, my hand, which is still relatively cleaner than the glove, will slip under the edge of the glove. I'm not touching the outside of the glove. And turn that glove inside out. Now I have a nice little package of gloves with the dirt inside out. They get thrown in the trash. The next thing that comes off is the goggles, if I've worn them. And then it's just like when you put it on. The gown comes off next. Don't worry. Just rip it. Don't try to untie anything because that's the dirty outside area. Again, you see I'm turning it inside out and gently pulling it off rather than ripping it off so that I keep those microbes from flying through the air. I get a little bundle with the inside cleaner portion of the gown open or exposed to the air. Next, the hair cover comes off. And again, thinking dirty is on the outside, if you can, putting the inside out. Finally, the mask, which if you're working with airborne precautions, is probably the most important. You're not going to put your hand on the outside of the mask where all those microbes are. Take the ear flaps, pull it off that way. You're probably not going to be able to put the mask inside out, but at least don't touch the mask itself where all the nasty little things have been probably congregating. All of that goes in the trash. And then you're not done and you're not ready to see your next patient until you take the final step of using hand sanitizer and rubbing until your hands are dry. There's no time limit, there's no specifics, except you rub until it's all gone. And you're done.